Welcome to Trans Theories, a show where we talk about everything Transformers. I'm Jason, today we're going to be talking about if Blackout became Grinder in Revenge of the Fallen. And thank you to Five Nights Channel, Noah Thompson, and Anthes Nuts TV for making this video possible. So get a Jiffy Popcorn bag and some Starscream Doritos because it's time to theorize. So a little bit of background information on Blackout, he was a Decepticon scout who went to the Saki and Forward Operations Base to gather information about the whereabouts of the Decepticon leader Megatron. And once he got all the information he needed, he destroyed the base, killing as much soldiers as he could in the process. And when it was time for Blackout to bite the dust, he died in a sad way by getting shot in the chest and in the crotch. later was dumped in the water of the Decepticon leader Megatron and the other Decepticons that died in the first movie. But when Revenge of the Fallen comes around, we are greeted with a familiar looking helicopter that looks like Blackout. But here is where we run into our first issue. This helicopter is not the same as Blackout's helicopter mode because this helicopter is a Sikorsky CH-53E Super Stalin, while Blackout's was a Sikorsky MH-53 Pavlo 3. But now here's the question of the day. If Blackout is Grinder, then how did he get revived in Revenge of the Fallen? Well if you remember in the first Transformers movie, when Megatron got dumped in the water, it was not just him. All the other Decepticons that died also were dumped in the water, but it was rumored to be off screen. But here's where our next big element comes into play, and that'll be the Allspark Shard. And if you remember, this shard gave life to the appliances that were in Sam's house. And the complete Allspark Cube gave Frenzy's body back to him when he was just a disembodied head. And because all the Decepticon casters dumped into the ocean at the end of Transformers 1, with the exception of Bad Cop and Doritos, we can easily say that Blacko got resurrected from the shard's energy along with Ball and Bone Crusher. But now you may ask Trans, how could this all be possible if we did not see in the film. Well, young theorist, if you don't already know, Revenge of the Fallen is written during a horrible time, and that horrible time was the writer's strike, which led to this movie not doing really well with critics, and the whole entire script is only made in three weeks. And usually scripts, especially good scripts, like the first movie, take months to write, but this only took three weeks. And I believe if this film was not written during the writer's strike, it would have explained Grinder's origins. But with all that stuff out of the way, we can easily say that Grinder's blackout, right? Well, you're wrong, because there's one major issue in this whole thing that can make your brain this theory. And that issue is the height of Grinder. And according to the scale charts, it says that Grinder is 50 feet tall. And put that into consideration for a second. That is a bit taller than the Molisher at his face level. While Blackout is only a whopping 33 feet tall. So how did Blackout even manage to grow 17 more feet if he even is Grinder? Well hear me out, the way Blackout grew 17 more feet was because of the Allspark Shard. And once the Shard revived Blackout, it gave his body back. But it made it much bigger because Blackout was only a mango of parts at the bottom of the sea. And this size increase would serve as an upgrade to Blackout. And once he came out of the water, he could not transform properly because of his new size. So it required him to scan a much bigger vehicle. And that's the reason why we can see him as a new helicopter. And also on Blackout, we can see some rust. Which possibly got on him because he was under the water for a long time. Or it was because of the helicopter that he scanned and it had a bit of rust on it. But now the last thing in his theory to clear up is, if Blackout is Grinder, then why'd he change his name? Well the reason why I believe Blackout changed his name to Grinder was because, since he felt reborn and much taller, he felt that he wanted to start fresh. So he gave himself a name change, and he started to live his brand new reborn long life. 